today we're going to do a triple unboxing of the Geek Gear Wizardry monthly subscription box. We have the December 2020 box, the January 2021 box that I just received, and then we have the special edition House Elf Relocation Department box. So we're going to go ahead and unbox all these. That'll catch us up on our Geek Gear unboxings, and then once we get February's box, I'll be able to show you that one on its own. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the House Elf Relocation Department box. Um, I ordered this hoping it would get here around Christmas and it got here like the week of Christmas and everything was just too chaotic between me sending out orders and everything else for me to film this. So I've been saving it. I received the December box probably about a week or two later, maybe even a little bit longer. And I just got the January box in the mail yesterday. So we'll go ahead and open this one first. This one is obviously supposed to be all house elf related um, items that are probably going to have like Dobby or maybe Creature, Winky, anything like that in there. So right off the bat, we have this really fun colored shirt. Let me open it up. This is cute. It says, give socks, pairs to spare, odd socks you don't need. They could lead to an elf being freed. Don't hoard your unwanted socks. Donate generously. Free elves. This is super cute. I, it's really nice that it's so many fun colors. Um, but yeah, it's a good little start to the box. We all know Dobby loved his socks. And oh my god, I just saw something in the box that's adorable. Okay. <laughs> He's so cute. We got a little crocheted house elf. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, his little house elf shirt or sweater is so soft. Okay, he's got these really cute floppy ears. Okay, this is super cute. So we have our own little house elf that we can save. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, good job, Geek Gear. That's adorable. Let's see what this is. It looks like it might be a licensed item. Yep, I think I'm right. Super cute. So we got a Dobby is a free elf licensed mug. Let me see if I can get it out of here. That's really cute. Dobby has no master. Dobby is a free elf. That is really, really cute. And this one should be microwave safe because there's no gold foiling on here or anything like that. That's really cute. Nice. It's always nice when you get a licensed piece in the boxes. Ooh. It says Petunia's Pudding. Okay, I'm wondering if this is a little prop of the Petun of Aunt Petunia's Pudding that Dobby dropped on Mr. Dursley's client's heads. And it is. Okay, this is so cute. So we got Aunt Petunia's Pudding. That's super fun. That's cute. Ooh. Oh, it's a pin. Okay, that is really cool. We got Bellatrix's dagger as a pin. So for those of you who have been here for a while, I got a Dobby special edition box probably almost two years ago now. And it actually has the dagger in there. And the dagger is beautiful. It looks just like the one from Noble Collection. But this is a really nice pin. They did a really nice job with the details on the metal and the little enamel handle. Super cute. Not super fun to think about, but it's a really cute pin. Oh, okay, that's adorable. We got a little certificate of freedom for our house elf. It says, this certificate grants freedom to blank the elf. They heard of your greatness and have chosen to live with you. Free elf relocation department. Oh, so cute. So we get to name our little elf. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about what I want to name him, but that is really fun. Oh, it's a magnet and it says, such a beautiful place to be with friends and it's got Hogwarts. Oh, that's so cute. Such a good little Dobby quote, too. Super fun. So there's a lot in here, which that's good. Ooh, we got some kind of Dobby notebook, I think. Let me open this up. 
Okay, so I believe this is a licensed piece as well. And we got this really cute Dobby notebook and the little bookmark it has a sock on the end. How cute is that? Oh, cute. And it's got little Dobby in the corner of the pages. And on the back it says Dobby has no master with a sock. That's super cute. Okay, I think that's the cheat sheet, so we'll set that aside. Looks, looks like we got a print in here. And it says, Dobby has no master. Dobby is a free elf. Cute. Okay, so I think that's it. Let's go ahead and bust into the cheat sheet. The little socks on the background of this cheat sheet are super cute. Okay. We have the limited edition elf box from the relocation department. Donate socks t-shirt. The licensed elf artwork. Your very own free elf, which this is adorable. It says, this elf heard of your greatness and has chosen to live with you as a free elf. To mark their relocation, your elf would like help choosing a new name and filling out their certificate of freedom. So cute. We have the dagger pin, a beautiful place magnet, the licensed elf notebook, the pudding replica, and the licensed elf mug. So super cute. And it says if you do anything with your little house elf to share it with hashtag house elf on the shelf. So that is super fun. I think they did a great job. This little elf is so stinking cute. And he's really well made. I'll definitely get rid of the tag, but adorable. His little floppy ears. And this pin is stunning. Yeah, I think this was overall a really good box, especially for, you know, if you're going for a house elf box, they, they nailed that on the head. So yeah, I think this was good. Let's go ahead and get into the December 2020 box. Okay, so as I said, this is the December 2020 box. So I'm going to assume there might still be some holiday vibes in here, but let's see. Okay, so we got a t-shirt. Mm, I can't say this is my favorite design they've ever done. It's got Dumbledore's Office, which I adore Dumbledore's Office. It's one of my favorite little niches in the wizarding world. But I'm not super in love with the orange and the yellow on the black. It's okay. This will probably be a shirt I wear to bed. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got a wand. It's hmm, interesting. Let's see. Huh. Okay, so the end has got this kind of drippy, icy look, and then it has these swirls, and then it almost has like, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a stone, or if it's supposed to be like similar to Hermione's bag. Hmm. Interesting. I can't say it's my favorite wand they've put in a box. I'll have to see what the little card says for, about it, but that's different. Oh, we got a little wrapped box. Let me open this up. Oh my gosh, if this is what I think it is, I'm super excited. So it has a picture of what looks like Slughorn's hourglass. Oh my gosh, it is... Oh... Wow. Okay, guys, this is actually metal and glass, and it has the little green sand in there. This is stunning. Oh my god, I can't wait to put this on my little slughorn shelf. For those of you that watched my Harry Potter room tour, you know that I have a little shelf on one of my shelves that has slughorn vibes to it. It's got his venomous tentacular leaves and all kinds of stuff on there, and now I can add this little mini replica of his hourglass and that is so cute okay so far hands down that is my favorite item in this box and a chess piece you guys know i'm not a huge fan of the chess pieces i feel like i'll have a whole chess board by the time we're done but i mm, i'm not so sure we will okay i believe this is the queen 
this looks like the queen that's sword fell when Harry and Ron and Hermione defeated the big chessboard to get to the Sorcerer's Stone. So I think that's the queen. These are very well done. I just don't play chess, and it's just an okay thing for me to get in a box. Ooh, looks like we got a pin. Oh. Let me see what this is. It almost looks like it's Gryffindor colors. Okay, I'm not sure what this pin is. It's got little birds on it and a hand with a wand, a skull above it, and it says Tonjour's Pure. Tanjour's Pure. So I don't know if this is supposed to be like a dueling club type thing. Hmm. I'll have to see what the cheat sheet says about that because I'm just not sure what that is. Ooh. Okay. You guys know I love the pumpkin pasty sign that we got. It was in a similar box to this. So this looks like it might be Sherbert Lemon. This is so cute. We got this little chalkboard sign that says Sherbert Lemons Bewitching Bursts of Citrus. Super cute. That's fun. Oh, we got another one of our charms. Ooh, it's a flying key. Okay, I actually like this one. Some of them have been kind of lackluster, and I wonder if this is the very last one since it was the last box of the year. But this one, this one I actually like. So it's a little winged flying key. Super cute. Okay. Oh, we got our scratch-off cards that I never win on. So this is the regalia wand. 13 and 3 quarters inches. Core is ruby dust, and the wood is ebony. Hmm. Interesting. Again, I can't say that that's my favorite wand we've ever received. But let's see. Ooh, we got a piece of Luna art. And it says Luna Lovegood in this very 90s looking text on the side. And it's got Luna in her little spectra specs with her quibbler. It's cute. It's not something I'll probably hang up. Okay. So best item hands down in this box is this Slughorn Hourglass. The other items are just... Okay. And I don't see a cheat sheet. Hmm. So I have no idea what this pin is. And I don't know what the wand is supposed to be. I'm going to be honest, this is not my favorite box we've gotten. The little Sherbert Lemon stand is kind of cute. And I do like the little Flying Key charm. And I love the hourglass. But the rest of it is just kind of meh. So let's see what the January box brought. Okay, so the last box we have is the January 2021 box. So I'm kind of curious to see what they've got in here since it's a new year. Ooh, ooh, I can already tell I'm going to like the shirt. Hang on. Okay, I like this shirt a lot. This is very me. So we have a bunch of different potion bottles on here. And it says potions, a subtle science and exact art. Love it. Super cute. This is probably one of my favorite shirts they've come out with in a while. I love the little sketchy design on here. Super cute. Can't wait to wear that. All right. Oh, we got a mug. Well, let's see. Okay. It is a licensed piece. And it says, first year students travel across the big black lake to Hogwarts. Hmm. It's different. Hang on, let me see if I can get this out. Okay, so it's got, obviously, the Black Lake, the boats, Hogwarts in a distance. Hmm. It's a nice mug. I like it. It's a little different. I would have thought they would have put this, like, on a, I don't know, back to Hogwarts type box. I know usually they'll do something like that, but it's a nice mug, and it's nice that it's licensed. I don't know. It looks like it should be microwavable because there's no foiling on it. What is this? Okay, so we got some kind of wrapped up, ooh, I think this is a pin banner. Why could it, 
why couldn't it be follow the butterflies and it's got this little rainbow style border on it with the butterflies and you'd put your pins on here so that's interesting I don't know that the quote makes a whole lot of sense to me for it being like a pin badge banner and I don't tend to use these um, I'll show you guys what I'm actually doing with my pins I just got a really cool laptop backpack that I'll be able to travel with etc and the whole front I'm going to be putting all of my magical pins on it so I don't know that I'll get a whole lot of use out of that but it is a nice item for people who do use the banners Oh, I think we got a, well, maybe it's not a pen. Maybe it's a coin. Let's see. Oh. So we got a courage badge or pin. And it's got Gryffindor's sword on the back and it says bravery. Hmm. That's a very Gryffindor item. I wonder if they're going to do all four of the houses. Interesting. Okay. Their coins are really well made. I do like them. Oh, we got a pin. Ooh, it's a huge pin. So it says R and L for Ron and Lavender. And it is a really pretty, like, swirled metallic acrylic in the background. But this pin is huge. I don't even know if I would put this on my backpack because it's so big. But it does kind of make sense with the butterflies since it's a Ron quote. Eh, can't say that that's my favorite pin. It is really pretty but it's not my favorite. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. Okay, so I don't know if this is available in the States. I've seen some people post about it on Instagram, and I think they're almost always over in the UK, etc. But this is the Wizard's Magic Original Chocolate 100% Recyclable Packaging. Only 1% sugar, vegan-friendly, gluten-free, and high fiber. So I believe this is a plant-based made chocolate. And the packaging on this is adorable. It's 60% cocoa solids. Ingredients is cocoa solids, which is cocoa butter, cocoa powder, sweetener, which is isomalt, and inulin. Um, so I believe my sister would be able to eat this because she is allergic to soy. And it doesn't look like there's any soy on this. So that's exciting. It says, no added sugar, chocolate with sweetener, packed in a facility, which also packs nuts and milks, store in a cool, dry place, out of direct sunlight. Excessive, excessive consumption may have a laxative effect, which that can happen with any chocolate. So I'm excited to try this because I've seen people post about it. They have a bunch of different flavors and things like that. And the fact that it is vegan-friendly, gluten-free, and all that is, is really nice. So I'm excited to try this. So I'm glad they put it in the box because I don't know that I can get that anywhere over here in the States. So that's fun. Scratch off card, which again, I probably didn't win on. Oh, I think we actually got a cheat sheet in this box. So that's exciting. We'll leave that there. And what did we get? I guess we got a piece of art. Okay. I do love Thestrals. I kind of wish instead of this being like sepia toned and browns and that, that it would have been gray and black because I would have been much more apt to put this in my Harry Potter room if it was more of a gray black theme than the sepia toned theme. But it is a nice picture. It has a really nice drawing of them. In fact, I might have to scan this in and reprint it in more of a gray black quality. But this is a very nice picture. Probably one of the better pieces of art I feel like they've had in the last several boxes. So I believe that's it. Let's go ahead and get into the cheat sheet. Okay. So like I said, this is the January 2021 box. And we have the Potions t-shirt, which I love. It's probably one of the best t-shirts I've seen come out of them in quite a while. The licensed and exclusive Thestral print. So the fact that it is exclusive probably means that the licensed print of it is probably normally in black and grays, and they made it sepia for it to be exclusive to them. We have the Follow the Butterflies pin flag, Courageous Lion coin, licensed and exclusive Hogwarts Black Lake mug, which I do like, but it just seems a little out of place. The exclusive Wizards chocolate, edible, and the exclusive monthly pin, Lavender and Ron heart pin. So it looks like they're going to start doing pins monthly again which it's been a while since they've done an exclusive pin every single month. There's some like sprinkled in here and there, 
but it is nice that they're going to do pins again this year. I am very excited to try this Wizard's Chocolate, and I do want to have it with my sister since she should be able to eat it because it looks like it's soy-free. Because it's always nice to find other options of things you can eat when you have an allergy. So the fact that this is good for different allergies as well as different eating styles, like being vegan friendly and all that, I, I do give them massive applause. And I love the packaging that they have on there. The gold foiling really sets it off. And it's got this really nice, like, textured material packaging that it's printed on. So it is really nice. I do like the smug. So I would say the shirt, the mug, and the chocolate are probably my favorite. I do like the Thestral print, but again, I don't like it in the colors it's in. So I would just say this box is good, but not great. Um, I don't really care for the Ron and Lavender pin. I'm not going to use the pin badge flag. And I'm interested to see if they're going to do coins for like every house, in which case I'll probably be okay with that. But I do love the shirt. The potions shirt is really, really cool. So um, overall, out of the last two monthly boxes, I would just say they were okay. There was only one or two items in each of them that I really liked. So hopefully the February box will be a little bit stronger. Um, because honestly, Geek Gear did a great job last year of giving us some really decent items. Even when it was hard for them to source items because of the pandemic. They still came through with some really good little replicas and nice items in the boxes. They did the best they could for what they had um, with everything that was going on in the world, and I thought they did a nice job. So, um, yeah, we'll kind of see what the rest of this year brings, but it does look like we're going to get a pin in every box, so that's exciting. And hopefully they're really good pins. So let me know what you guys think of these three boxes in the description down below. If you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.